Greetings friends, it is I, Riku Khan, and holy crap, another Mechanics the Game, the game video? In just a, two days straight? Well, yeah, you're not dreaming. And there's no special occasion today as far as I can tell. So, yeah. So here's the scenario. You want to make a RPG, blah blah blah. But you also want to make the skill leveling up system a bit more unique where you don't want your characters to learn skills by grinding through levels. So what's an alternate way of teaching your characters skills? Skill shops! Now you can simply get a script and make a simple skill shop to get an item and use that item to teach a skill and that'll just make things simple and clean like the way you make me feel tonight. But since this is a no scripting thing going on we're going to make this through events. So, first, let us pick an actor. That we really don't care. Uh, let's pick Ernest, because he looks cool, I guess. Alright, so... That boy needs to go away now. Because he's off riding on horses. Let's see, he's a spellblade, so he's got magic and sword. Alright. So, let's see. Let's just look for some very basic spells. Let's see, fire one, ice one, uh, spark one. Yeah, those would do. Just the basics. Alright. All you need for this one is conditional branches. If you have conditional branches, you're good to go, and I'm pretty sure every RPG maker ever has a conditional branch. So, let us pick a graphic for a new shop. Let us pick... Uh... Let's pick... Pick this traveling merchant. Why not? Would you like to learn new spells? All right. So you do that. Your choices. Yes. Please pick a spell. And for no, we're just gonna say. Magics for you then. Alright. Now, this time, we're gonna need to make more choices. We're only gonna do three, and the fourth choice will be to cancel out. So, we're gonna pick Fire One, Ice One, Spark One. Now this is where things are going to get a little tricky. Let's uh, set it to right here. Actually, no. Set it to right here. There we go. No, no. Yeah, whatever. Okay. No, wait. Right here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, first, let's write a description. Actually, no. Another way to make this much clean looking is go in here and just put the prices right here. So let's just say this costs 20G. This one costs 30G. And this one costs 40G. And then put down a description. This will teach anyone the spell of Fire 1. Wish to learn this for 20G. And then put the thing right here, not that, that. There we go. And then we need to make another choice, this is right here, simply yes or no. Now, let us make a label called Shop, or Spell Shop. And we 
go to no, jump to label, spell shop. So if you change your mind, you can just go right back to the shop and make no purchases. You hit yes, you want to go to conditional branch and go to gold 20 or more. We want to remove 20 and Actually, no, hang on. I know a better idea. No, no, hang on. And then, for those who want to teach it to a specific person in your party, like let's just say you have more than one party member, who will learn the spell? Now, again, now this is just assuming you're going to have other party members in your game. If you're only having one person, you don't need to do this. Input. Ernest, and then just put one right here because we have no other choice. And then change skills and make it fire one, and that's it. For here, let's just put nobody, and then on here we want to redeem your gold that you just spent, and jump to label spell shop. Alright, so all that was just for one choice. Now you pretty much just have to copy and paste that for all your other spells, but that's the gist of it. I'm not gonna... well you know what, just for the sake of... Yeah, let's just go ahead and do... Yeah, alright. All I have to do is just copy and paste it here, change it to 30 gold or more. subtract 30 instead. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Hang on, let's delete this. Let's go back up here. And when Ernest, we want to go to Conditional Branch and If actor Ernest knows the skill already, yes, yeah, so he's a good thing I caught this. If he learns it, he knows the spell, you dumbass. Jump to lay, copy paste this. And then do that. Otherwise, teach him the spell. It's a good thing I caught that because I almost made a big dumb mistake. Now with that, let's just go ahead and do that for the other three right here. I'm so glad I caught that. So now, changes to 30 or more gold. Conditional branch. If ice one is learned, make this to be at 30. Yeah, I don't think for a second I didn't catch that. I saw you. Right here. Get out of here. And that changes to ice one right here. And 
change this to 30. And then go to spark one right here. Change this to be 40. And make this 40 once again. Now, of course, you can make this look a lot better by not having the coins be spent until after the confirmation works. But this is just a, sim a sample I'm providing. Alright. And that should be it. It's a massive list, yes, and the script will make this look much cleaner. But, what can you do? So we close that. Hit play, hit say changes, yes. Alright, so first... Grab our money. Make sure he doesn't have any of the skills. Alright. Let's go to here. Yes, fire one. Yes, earnest. All right, and he knows it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just learn all the spells. All right, see so now he knows the three basic elements. Elephants guide me. So now, let's just make sure everything works. Alright. Alright, that works. Oops. And it works! Alright! That was a very simple tutorial, unlike the horse mechanic, even though... Uh... Why did that break? Huh, that's weird. Oh, because that's based on the different actor. Okay, never mind. Well, anyway, that's all f I have... Well, I have more than the time in the world, but... That is all I wanted to teach you today. You can... Once again, make them look much cleaner through the events as it is. Anyway, this has been Riku Cotton, and I will see you in the next one.